Hi, it's Kofi here and thanks again for joining me in this FPV training session that I'm having. Like the video title mentioned, um, I think last month and this month I am doing a discounted uh, offer for such FPV tours of properties and stuff like that. So Airbnbs, you know, uh, properties to rent and and properties to sell and, and those kind of uh, options and uh, January is just about ending so if you're interested in having a discounted uh, enjoying this discounted offer uh, check the description below to um, see how to get in touch and we can talk from there so this is a nearby uncompleted building and again in this one to I'm trying to try the two approaches the two settings that I have and see how it goes um, the first setting I'm using this is the default uh, it's not default I've tweaked it a bit um, the profile that I have set and um, going through this uncompleted building and I was even having a chat with some of the workers um, getting uh, I normally get asked a lot of questions when it comes to these uh, when they see me flying this drone and they wanted to learn more about how it works and you know they always say Kwesi Bruni and yeah in any case the um, I think one of the guys put on the goggles to um, see through the um, the goggles and see how it feels and it's really fascinating thing they all get you know impressed and they tend to love it so just going through the available rooms and it seems to be like a huge building and uh, it wasn't there the last I remember. I think the last time I was in Kofodria, this building was not there. So it's come up pretty quickly and uh, yeah, decided to go through the, the buildings. And uh, so you can see it's a bit, uh, you know, sharp in terms of the responsiveness. The left to right are a bit, uh, a bit quick and sharp, which isn't usually something you want. I can cheat a little bit with that by enabling the I think horizontal leveling on my GoPro when I'm recording with that. It wasn't attached on this one because when I'm doing this kind of um, uh, uh, test runs I don't really need the GoPro to be attached on it. And so yeah, uh, <laughs> it's kind of uh, an easy and, and quick way to give your property a tour and um, whether it's ongoing construction or whether it's completed you can have more like a complete overview of what the progress is this can go through all the tiny spots as much as possible like you can see in this building and uh, get get an idea of what's going on and stuff like that so it can be a completed building it might not be completed you can still um, have these kind of property tours and I am um, very very aware of the power lines so uh, totally notice the power lines and I have learned from experience so what I tell you I'm looking at the power lines I am totally looking at it and measuring every single inch of where they are in, in space um, I think I crashed one of my drones before in a power line um, I think they're Mavic Mini so I know too well what can happen with those kind of power lines. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a fun way to give your property, you know, an overview. And uh, I asked permission from these guys and they allowed me to, you know, give the fly. Now, this is something you don't want to do with the, uh, with the cine whoop because immediately you go up and there's a bit of wind. It's a challenge. and it's really hard controlling it from that um, from an altitude like that so that's something you don't want to do with a cine whoop. but going through you know tight spots and you know, um, capturing these kind of shots is something very doable one thing I'm also considering and I'm working on at the moment is introducing YouTube memberships and uh, some of my settings and some of the tutorials and, and, and uh, teaching how to get the settings right and stuff like that is something I'm considering if I should make those kind of videos member only or I should make those videos public as well 
um, you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below but it's definitely something that I would want to give a little bit extra to my uh, members and so I'm, I'm not sure exactly how what kind of perks to also give and, and stuff like that so you can let me know in the comment section below I am still putting in place the requirements and, and um, yet to put up a video about that so yeah in any case um, yeah you can see and using the cine whoop is also safe because there's ducks around the blade a normal uh, freestyle drone will easily crash like what happened over there hidden uh, on, the, on the walls over there but with a cine whoop you've got the ducks protecting it and so you don't really have to worry about crashing so that was the first run and I changed from the first profile to the third profile which I have um, changed the settings a bit to uh, uh, ensure I'm not overshooting the kind of left right forward movement so from what you saw in the previous one compared to this one you will easily see this this particular one is very smooth in terms of the movement and it's very refined and uh, calm in terms of the movement this is something you can get with a bit of fine-tuning and these are some of the um, lessons that I want to talk about in um, videos dedicated to members whether I should do it for only members or I'll just make it public here on the channel so yeah um, decided to also take the settings for a spin and really excited with the kind of smooth movements I got with this one i wouldn't need to make any change on the gopro to horizontal leveling or anything of that sort because i'm already getting like very smooth movement movements with this one and super happy with the kind of results i'm getting so far there can be room for improvement but so far this is very cool and i i like what like i'm getting the results i'm getting so far very impressed with how smooth it was compared to the first one uh, I am not sure I, I think both have different applications and it's just a matter of switching to the right profile as and when I need to uh, um, use the right one this is going to be perfect for um, let's say doing a tour of a property indoors which um, I've tried before and before doing the settings and it wasn't as easy as I would imagine but with this settings it's gonna be way easier to uh, fine-tune the movement and get as precise positioning and, and, and maneuvers as possible and it's also moving relatively slower so it's easier to like compose yourself and um, uh, and make those kind of uh, moves through the the um, available opening so it's uh in general I'm, I'm liking this settings better the fact that it gives you room to kind of like think about where to move next and and, and how it all works together so yeah um channel membership is something that I'm considering and some of the perks I'm thinking of giving there's gonna be a video on that explaining the whole thing so um, you can check out for that video as well but this is basically the kind of property tour videos I'm talking about and looking forward to um, booking the discounted offers before the month of January ends. so if that's this kind of video is something you are interested in you can let me know um, get in touch from the um, details in the description below and and let's talk uh, yeah it's uh, it's super simple to uh, give your entire property a tour like this and you're not going to break the bank to do that as well in any case um, that's it from me thanks for joining me in this um, FPV tour episode I hope to do these kind of uncompleted building tours and I'm also super excited to answer any questions that 
anyone around my house whenever it comes to these drones. Um, yeah, you see how chill they are sitting there and they are all in, um, in awe and amazed and, and yeah. Bye.